Ruby. Hi guys. Today, I will bring you the top 5 most creepy paintings. One, Peter Paul Rubens, Massacre of the Innocents painted in 1611, Massacre of the Innocents is Rubens' interpretation of Herod's order to kill every young male in Bethlehem, as recounted in the Gospel of Matthew, featuring nude men ripping babies out of the arms of their mothers and then murdering the children in front of them, the painting. Two, Theodore Jarquault, anatomical pieces this is but one of a series of works featuring disembodied body parts, including a painting of a pair of severed heads, equally as unsettling as this one, painted by French artist Theodore Jarquault. The most disturbing part is that all the paintings were based on real model remains Jarquault. Andy Warhol, Big Electric Chair Andy Warhol is most famous for his pop art pictures of soup cans and Marilyn Monroe, but he also dabbled in some darker works, including his chilling piece, Big Electric Chair. The painting is based on a photograph of the former execution chamber at Sing Sing Prison in New York. For more daring readers, Warhol also released artworks featuring police photos of suicides and car fatalities. Four, Peter Bruegel the Elder, The Triumph of Death. An army of skeletons attacks peasants and royalty alike in Bruegel's The Triumph of Death. Every inch of the painting presents some new horror committed by the army of death, and many easily missed details can be seen by looking at a full-sized representation of the piece. Although it's commonly mistaken as being a depiction of the Black Plague, it was actually five. Odile Redon, smiling spider. If you're arachnophobic or just generally not a fan of small, many-legged critters, you might want to avoid some of Odile and Redon's works. This is just one of a couple of paintings displaying the emotions of a weirdly human-faced spider. Even if you're okay with spider-